used to override the normal source of range and bearing of any display auto mode. Manually selected sources are TACAN and ADF. As with any electrical instrument, these have power off flags. If they show, use your standby instruments at the bottom of the panel. That's it, man. A quick rundown on the new F-106 integrated flight instrument panel. Thanks for your attention. Thank you, Major. Now let's see the instruments in action on an F-106 practice intercept mission. You turn the display auto mode switch to data link max range for the intercept. Flight mode switch is placed on pitch damper. Check to be sure the heading selector switch and the bearing selector switch are both in the normal position. Now your data link light shows on the left side of the HSI and the target sign lights on the right side. Shortly after takeoff, you go into IFR. For purposes of clarity, we are assuming that the fire control switch and all other normally operated settings and movements are made by the pilot in his flight. We will concentrate on the use of the new integrated instrument panel. By now, the data link command information comes in from GCI. Command altitude moves to 41,000 feet. Your heading is displayed. You get target altitude. Target bearing is displayed. Target distance shows at 200 miles. And command mark is positioned. Course arrow shows target's course. Deviation bar shows direction of target from your position. As each of these commands comes out of your panel, you fly the indicated action. Adjust the power lever to move your mock command marker under the lever line. Now bank to center your steering needle. Remember to keep the steering needle centered so it will roll you out on the desired heading. Then, maintaining your mark, hold the climb until you bring the altitude command marker under the lubber line at 41,000 feet. Notice your target distance readout. It's always moving as you overtake the bogey. Watch the time to go circle in your radar scope. When it disappears, you are at the offset point. Now you receive a steering reference circle, a displaced steering dot, and target marker circle. At the same time, you bank right to keep the dot centered. Lock on. And fire. Mission completed, you head for home. Yes, the pilots who fly the F-106 will find new and better instruments in their cockpit. The integrated instrument system brings you new convenience and safety through scientific grouping of instruments, visual command markers, fast scanning of the P-line, and greater instrument range. The F-106 is now an easier and safer plane for you to fly because you're scanning the P-line.